Hey gang, how's it going? This is Rob with Japanime Games. Uh, today I'm going to be showing you one of our new games that's coming out called Love Formula that will be going up on Kickstarter soon. So check out the title card at the beginning and end of the video to see that. Um, Love Formula is a card drafting game. A little bit different from a deck builder, which is our usual fare. In a card drafting game, the goal is to pull from a large pile of cards. You could call it a cube, you could call it a deck, whatever you want to call it. And draft cards, then play them, then draft again, play them, end the game. Very simple, very easy to get into. Every game is only 40 short terms, turns, if you want to look at it that way. First thing that you're going to want to do is you're going to take out a part-time job out of the deck, treat them like jokers in a bicycle playing card deck, just remove them from the deck, and you want to give one part-time job to each player playing. We also have two others right here, but I'm just going to play with one other imaginary friend because my imagination's running a little dry right now. So, what I'm going to do is I'm then going to deal 12 cards to each player, and I'm going to do a little bit of a thing that kind of doesn't make sense but for the purposes of the video makes sense and what i am going to do is he's going to go away and we are literally just going to play by myself it's not going to make sense in a few areas but what i'm doing here is trying to explain some key gameplay concepts for you so that you know how the game works so i'm going to deal out those 12 cards And I'm going to explain the core concept of the game. Part-time job is going to go into my hand. And I'm going to have now 12 cards in my hand. Let me show them to you. I've got a beach, an ideal prince, a festival, delicious food, kimono, park, kiss, cling, interference, the X, rather ominous, ominous doki doki, stuffed animal, and my part-time job. What my goal is, is to draft cards against my opponent who also has a 12 card hand. I don't get every single card in this pile. I will only get five cards from this pile and five cards from my opponent's pile. That's why I'm saying you're gonna have to use your imagination just a little bit, just cause it doesn't make much sense for me to deal out multiple hands. Also too, I wanna show you all cards that have art. And since this game is not finished yet, many of the cards in this pile do not yet have art and the art for this game is really cool and i really like it it's really cute so anyway my goal in the game is to have the most victory points how do i get victory points by drafting relationships and then completing those relationships see because to have the perfect relationship you got to have the perfect date according to love formula and so my perfect date for example for my relationship between uh hold on let me cheat I'm gonna, I'm gonna put this card back. All right, there we go. I'm just cheating a little bit. I have my, I'm going to draft my relationship Fumio and Emmy. So if you check on the screen right there, Fumio and Emmy. It is a four priority couple card that requires delicious food and a beach. If you get one of these items, you get one victory point. And if you get two of these items, you get four victory points. So my goal is to get my delicious food and beach card on here. So I draft, I would then pass the deck to my friend. My friend would then draft a card from it. Let's say he drafts Doki Doki for whatever reason. And he doesn't know I've drafted this by the way. I would then say, oh, beach, that's one of the cards I want. I'll draft that as well. Then go over here, he would draft a card. He's actually gonna draft delicious food. Delicious food, why? I don't know, maybe he has a, maybe he thinks there's a card he wants in his hand, so he drafts delicious food. Because my turn, I say, dang it, the delicious food is gone. I'll have to wait until a later phase um, to try and get a delicious food so I can finish this date. And that's kind of the ebb and flow. We would go back and forth 10 times drafting cards then we would go to the play phase. So I'm just going to real quick deal out these cards. There's going to be 10 for me. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. All right, he's gonna get one of those. And then he would have seven more cards. Five, six, seven. 
he would have seven more cards. And basically the idea would be we have finished our drafting step. Each of us would then have our 10 cards drafted as well as our part-time jobs. And our goal would then be to play the cards out. The way playing cards works is very simple. Starts with my turn. I play a card. I'm going to start with my relationship card. Maybe not a great idea, but there, right there back up on the screen, um, Fumio and Emmy. Then he would play a card. And then I would go and I would play something like, say, a beach because I want to make this card better. And my opponent could then say, all right, sounds good. Sounds good. You played a beach. Well, on my turn, I am going to play a I'm going to play a stuffed animal. That's it. Just plays an object to set up a date for further turns. And we would go back and forth, back and forth, playing 10 times. At the end of our 10 plays, we would then deal out 12 more cards to each of us. We would draft 10 times. This time, if there were multiple players going in the opposite direction we first went. Uh, but since we're only playing with two, that doesn't factor in. Uh, just to keep it in mind, if you are playing with more than two players, you first go clockwise, then go counterclockwise. We would then draft again back and forth 10 times. Uh, remember always discarding two of the cards because there's 12 cards um, and always remember to keep the discard pile in the same order because it's important then what we would do is we would play again playing out the 10 cards and at the end of the game the player with the most uh, points based on the relationships they've played the object cards that are unattended the um, you know location cards and the event cards that they've played um, unattended, unattached to relationships also gain some amount of victory points. Obviously not as much as creating full relationships, but they all play out. And our goal is count up based on those numbers that are listed on the card. So if you take a look at the Fumi and Emmy card, there's points listed right there. Um, and you would count those up and the player with the most created the most successful de uh, dates wins. Um, now, a few little things that can occur in a game is there are reaction cards. Reaction cards are played in response to something a player has done. They are played separately from your play step. So to cover the play step briefly, essentially when I play a card, I would play this card face down. Everyone else at the table would play face down. We would all reveal it once and we would go in the order of the number in the top left right there. Uh, so you see that number, we would play in that order, and they would resolve in that order. But say someone had played a card like the ideal prince on me to remove the delicious food that I had acquired, let's say. Because if you look at the ideal prince, the ideal prince says, discard a preparation attached to an affected couple. And no preparations may be attached to an affected couple. I assume that the ideal prince just eats all of your watermelon all the time. And it's it's terrible. It's just terrible. So my delicious food would disappear and I could not attach any more delicious foods. But say I was lucky and I had interference. Bam! I say, no, no, no. Interference. I stop this. The love rival is discarded instead. Its effect does not occur. I get to keep my watermelon and the watermelon thief is vanquished. And the game plays out like that. Someone plays an amnesia on you. You could play a Doki Doki to get rid of it. These are kind of counterplays and plays where you're trying to stop them, they try to stop you, they try to stop you stopping them, stopping you, and it kind of goes back and forth, back and forth. It's a lot of fun, it's really cool. Uh, if you're looking for a parallel for this genre, uh, Seven Wonders is a good example of another card drafting game uh, that you may have played or may have heard of, just to kind of get you in the right headspace for this type of game. Um, that about covers it. You know, we did drafting phase, play phase, uh, reactions, uh, victory points, scoring, and everything like that. So that's about um, the whole of the game. There's obviously a little bit more things, but it's actually it's going to be easier to look up victory points when you're actually scoring your victory points because it's relatively simple. It says it right on the card, and then you know objects and stuff are worth various amounts and everything like that. So 
keep that in mind when you're playing. You know, check the rule book at the end. Say, oh, okay, this is how many victory points I have. Uh, be on the lookout for this for Kickstarter. Like I said, title card's going to have all the information you need. That's going to be coming right up. If you have any questions, leave me a comment here. Uh, and that'd be great. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe, guys. I realize now that you're probably supposed to say that at the end of YouTube videos. So don't forget to do that because uh, we make a lot of cool games like this one. And uh, um, I'm really excited to see the Kickstarter launch. We're going to be doing a live stream where I'm going to be playing Love Formula with uh, the creator and a few other Team Japan Anime members um, using Tabletop Simulator. We're going to upload a early version of it so we can all play and that way you guys can see the game in action and you can see things happening it's gonna be a lot of fun i'm really excited um be on the lookout for that guys uh don't forget to like and, and subscribe like our facebook keep up to date on all of our stuff and yeah all right guys thanks a lot i'll see you that was love formula love formula it's coming out soon check out the kickstarter once again guys love formula see you there